Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Disillusion Plays. I nearly said Danganronpa Plays. I'm so, I'm so fucked. <laughs> like this intro! <laughs> one day, one day, guys. And welcome to another episode of Disillusion Plays Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. On the last episode, some stuff happened. Uh, right. Chihiro, the laptop, alter ego, disappeared. <gasps> and we have no idea who did it, obviously. We don't know if it was Monokuma, we don't know if it was the other uh, 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 students. Uh, Byakuya et al. were trying to sow doubt among us by suggesting that one of us is a traitor. <gasps> when I say us, I mean them, yeah. <laughs> obviously. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that happened. Obviously, Taka and Hifumi were absolutely devastated by this. Mm -hmm. But uh, Celeste suggested, why do. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste suggested, let's go sleep for the night. So mm -hmm. they slept. They wake up the next day. Celeste didn't appear in. Not Celeste, sorry. Um, what was it? Hifumi, Taka, Celeste, and Kyoko. Kyoko did oh, not. Kyoko. Did, did not. Oh, and Hiro. Did oh. not. Yes, a hero didn't appear. Was he not? Oh, no, yeah, it was just. No, he didn't appear either. The only people who appeared were Hina, Sakura, Hifumi, and. No, 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 Am I, just an, am I just an idiot? Sakura, Makoto. It was Kyoko, Aoi, and Sakura. Oh, it's because you guys, you guys were up. saying Kyoko and it threw me. <laughs> right, sorry. sorry. Kyo Kyoko, Sakura, Aoi, and Makoto were the only ones to appear in the dining room. Yeah. So they were like, what the heck's going on? So they've got this. They went looking. Aoi finds an unsightly sight in the rec room on the third floor. We go in, and Celeste has been attacked by a mysterious male individual wielding a Justice Hammer 1. Yes. And that's pretty much where we left off. Yep. So, now that that's out of the way, thank God, am I right? <laughs> I'm Pete. I'm Sarah. And I'm Taylor. Nice. Let's jump on in. Anyway. The important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. I like that her scuffs have miraculous, miraculously yeah. disappeared. I was literally thinking the same She's thing. Like they just, you know, someone took the magic eraser and just was like, <laughs> what would have been effort? It would have been effort to draw that sprite with the scuffs. <laughs> <clears throat> if we did not hurry, this could become a serious problem. But serious problem? Oh. A serious problem? I know, I, know I didn't, because I just wanted to see what would happen for a change if we didn't oh, click okay. it. Oh, for God's sake, nothing. G Oh, that's just scuffed up again. Okay, well... Right, before it is too late. Fine. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? Because it's like the thing about the react... A problem that is larger than a mild problem. <laughs> not quite as big as a huge problem. Because the, the thing about the reaction, right, is you think, like, why is it there if there isn't something that you could, like... Why make it, cl why make it like a click event? Do you know mm. what I mean? Why make it that you have to manually click on it if there isn't also something else that would that will be said yeah, if you don't yeah. click it? Do you get what I'm what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, 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 I get what you mean. Well, if you were a programmer, Pete, you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> when I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him. Dun 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 dun. He fooled me. Uh oh. He fooled me. After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. You mean, Hifumi was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, uh, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Has Celeste, Celeste has seen Taka since he went Super Saiyan, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Show us? Oh, she will have used the camera. The, this is Hifumi's hand-me-down. His uh, digital camera. You don't mean... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Oh, yeah. Is this the thing where it's going to be painfully obvious to everyone except for them. except the protagonist? Yeah, yeah. Seriously? Let's see it. I would not, I would not tell you to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. 
With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Dun, 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 uh. Uh. What? Huh? I mean... What? I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting to see that. No. That was not on my bingo card, no. What? RJ. RJ. Hmm. Romeo and Juliet. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Where the heck did they get that from? I don't know. Is that a robot costume? No, Hina. It's an actual robot. <laughs> it's a robot costume. <laughs> As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Fumi away? And they took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. I like how Celeste is being really specific about the time. Yeah. Suspicious. Yeah, okay. It is slightly so. Which is why, if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no. There is much I don't understand, but... <laughs> the point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away. And, and it happened over an hour ago. Sorry, I thought soccer yeah, was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought, yeah. Sure. Oh, this is bad! We have to hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? When they left the rec room, they headed left. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be! Huh? Uh, speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um, sorry. I didn't have time to look for her. Hmm. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have- oh, sorry. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Hmm, hey you two. Uh, Kyoko? Yeah, oh, yeah, here. What's going on? What's all the fuss? Yeah! You guys played a game or something? <laughs> Doesn't it? Look like we're playing a game. Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? Nope, nope, sure haven't. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. We came here together. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> no, you're just stalking me. <laughs> a anyway, can you guys help us look for them? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. Come with me. There's no time to explain. <laughs> well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Hifumi! Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Hmm? Oh. Did you hear something? <coughs> Maybe. I think it came from the library. The library? Okay, let's go! We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. We were not ready to see what- When we opened the door to the library- We were not expecting to see that! Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts! Shit. Ouch. We found Hifumi seriously injured. Uh, are you okay? I'm glad to see you're still alive. It's so, it's super bad though. Look at all the blood. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, oh, number two. Long. It's a hammer just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is... Justice Hammer 2? And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. 
He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <clears throat> that that guy was Robo Justice. This Robo Justice you are referring to is this, is it not? <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacked Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? Yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo-justice? Robo-justice, huh? This just keeps getting stranger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's him! <laughs> A robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? No! <laughs> Why is he here? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. To what nurse? <laughs> no, no, there There's is no one. nurse. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. I mean, I suppose they'll have, like, band-aids and stuff, maybe. You're Masters. right! Let's go! Uh, thanks, everyone. We moved Tofumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. How are you feeling, Hafumi? You want me to take a look at you? I, I, I'm okay. I, I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. Perhaps you should rest here a while. Y yeah, good idea. The rest of us should go back to looking for that mystery assailant. Indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammer seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. If you hit anything... Sorry. If you... If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. <clears throat> well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costumed man attacked me. That must be what I witnessed around seven this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. I'm surprised the point didn't protect him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyogo was still with us. So we all have alibis. I was in the... <clears throat> I was in the laundry room. Doing my laundry. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. Why do you know that? Oh, isn't it obvious? Cause I was peeking. Anyway, so that means Biakia and Toko were together at the time. <laughs> Not that I want to think about that, no. but meaning they also have alibis. And the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked are... The only two we haven't seen yet. <coughs> Kiro and Taka. That's it, right? By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Oh yeah! She was supposed to be checking the second floor, but... I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? <laughs> She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. She might be exactly as I suspected. Oh, hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... I'm not talking about who attacked them. 
Huh? I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying... Kyoko's working with the mastermind? Th that's not possible! Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Save this, save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Tucker and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She, she's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. Understood. Take care of yourself. Okay, let's go. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Don't bother looking for reason from a deviant. So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. <laughs> What's wrong? I saw a shadow! Something moving around at the top of the stairs! Really? Up on the second floor, then! <laughs> you bastard! You won't get away from me! Oh lord, she going. <laughs> We all shot toward the stairs. He must be around here somewhere. Let's meet up and corner him. Did you not listen to anything no. <laughs> that was just said? But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Okay, but uh, what should we yell? Anything! It doesn't matter! Then he's... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, oh, do ya, or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> do ya? I have never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, or we're gonna decommission ya. We spread it in every direction to track down the costumed suspect. <clears throat> hmm. So do we think just... What, like, just run down the hall? I don't know. No. Yeah. No, uh... Classroom. I mean, we could look in the rooms. I'm just seeing if we need to just go... Yeah, I guess it's a case no, of No, I guess we need to go the in the rooms. rooms. Okay, my instincts are saying library. My instincts are probably wrong. Do you think Pete's instincts are correct? <laughs> Tell us down in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. I mean, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? I was wrong. <laughs> I'm just thinking because the library's kind of like the biggest room. Hmm. I would grab the hammer and defend yourself with. That's true. Oh. oh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> that strange cry. That had to be Celeste. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Do, do, do. Over here, everyone. Everyone who heard the scream had come running. Celeste, what's wrong? I got one of my hair curls in a slight straighten. I straightened it by accident. <laughs> that was That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him! This strange costumed man! He ran off as soon as I screamed! I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared! He must be down this hall! Come on, let's go! <laughs> oh, what is it now? Uh. Huh? Whoa! It's really true! Uh, but that doesn't matter right now! Oh. Uh... Okay. Yeah! Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi! He's in the nurse's office! 
This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. But, but what about the suspect? We've gone to all this trouble to capture him, right? Then why don't we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Very well. Then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Bayakuya. We'll handle it. Just go take care of Afumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. He's in the nurse's office! Let's go! We stormed into the nurse's office and what greeted us was... a world of dripping crimson. Oh pink. No. Oh no. Dripping pink. Oh. Oh no! Oh, no! Oh no! Your boy! No, he fooled me. Well, shit. Oh, shit. F. <laughs> F. Everything was covered in red. Uh, pink? But not really, because that's not red. And in the center of all this red was... Hit... Hifumi? <laughs> it... It looks like something very bad has happened. No shit, Celeste. <laughs> I, I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi... They would be murdered! Uh, murdered? Are you that serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? Oh. Well, because this... Yeah, yep. that's we've all discovered it. That's the, the body notification. Yeah. That's it. Hello! A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, you may use how which you may use however you like. The class trial will begin. What the? That was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means. Must mean you fool me. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Well, we best click on the thing on the floor, hadn't we? Hifumi. Oh. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that and you are finished. That the killer. There can be no doubt. There can be no oh, oh. oh. No, no, no it's me. <laughs> there can be no doubt. The suspicious individual. Going by what Ifumi called him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Ifumi. But wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they like teleported or something, right? <clears throat> we can figure that part out later. Right now we have to tell the others. You're right. Then shall we go? Hina, <laughs> snap out of it! Huh? Are you okay, Hina? S -s Sorry, I I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kind of. Uh, this is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well. I leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but... I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. 
Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste! What's wrong? Hmm, that, do we really need a flashback? Uh, uh, <clears throat> that was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him. This strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He ran off going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway? What, like... Like the physics room. Mm. I guess. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So yes, then. Mm. Ah, an elevator. Oh, no, it's not an elevator. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence... Is it coming from over there? In the back? Presence, presence, presence. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> I leapt through the doorway. And when I did, I found... Another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Okay. Oh! There, in a pool of his own blood, was Taka. Dead. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. And <laughs> the pudgy princess. Oh, no. Well, shit. Double whammy. Okay. I'm running out of characters now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw we. Ifumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. I saw I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. No hammer on the floor, though. Hmm. The, the true nightmare is this reality, the reality I have to face every day. But still... I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh no, there's the hammer. Jesus, the size of Why it! Why is this happening? Hmm. <sighs> oh, and... Oh, there is a hammer. Oh, that's that's hammer number it's four. Toko. Yeah, she's fainted because she's passed out because of the blood, no doubt. So Genocide Jack's coming. Oh, yeah. Another hammer. Now it's just as Hammer 4, and it's even bigger than before. Where are all these? Where are they coming no, from? No. <laughs> Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? Uh, uh, uh I'm gonna no Sak Sakura, because okay. And Biaki's gonna do the same thing. Yep. Ooh. T Toko? Don't tell me. Toko too? Relax. She just passed out when she saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? We've tried everything to get her up, <laughs> to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like you said, I should just leave her alone for now. But, why is it Justice Hammer 4? Huh? What do you mean? Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer 1, then Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer 2. But this time it was Justice Hammer 4. What happened to number 3? Ah! What's the matter? Well, well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead too! What? Hifumi's been killed? I yeah. Which is why you came to get us. Then we'd better go check it out. Of course. 
Come on. Buried the lead there a bit, Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> so Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... <laughs> they all got hit with Justice Hammer 5, oh, which God. was so big it was the size of the whole hallway. <laughs> and then they all passed out, and then that was it. Celeste? Aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Something has uh, uh, come up. Yeah, I heard. Hifumi is dead, right? Uh, well, that is uh, not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? Hifumi's body has disappeared! Like, you were supposed to be Say watching what, 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 him. What the, what, what the actual shit? All you had to do was watch the damn body, Celeste. What the... what? What? What are you talking about? It's disappeared. Don't be ridiculous! Uh, are you serious? Have you seen the size of that man? <laughs> what the heck is happening here? Everyone, back to the nurse's office! <laughs> I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. Fuck's oh. sake, what really? What the hell is going <gasps> on? <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. Hafumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. Just disappeared? <laughs> Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. But we were only gone for like a minute. Jeez, how strong was the whoever the person who moved them? I know. And then when we got back. This must be the work of the culprits. They must have come and carried the body away. They must be really enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're all going to die here! We're going to die! Just like those guys died! I don't believe this! I don't believe a body would just... disappear! First there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken?! This is... unnatural! Hold on! What do you mean, two murders? Tark has been killed. We found him in the equipment room. It can't be! Taka too? It can't be. It can't be! No! Hida, calm down! We're all gonna die! All of us! They're gonna kill all of us! Then who might the next target be, Toko? Huh? I completely forgot! She's still unconscious in the equipment room! You left her at the scene of the crime? Wait, did he say then- did I, did I misread that? Yeah, it was like- Then who might the next- Who is the next target? Toko. 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 Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. We didn't have a choice. She passed out. And she refused to wake up. So she is still unconscious? Wait. So you knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? That annoying little insect. Sorry, that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. You bastard! Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone, stop fighting! Right now, we need to hurry back! I can't take this anymore! I don't want anyone else to die! Byakuya, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you! So, I mean, the only one, uh, there's two, there's Kyoko and there's Hiro. So one of them is the murderer, unless there's like another person yeah. who's just in a robot costume. Yeah. We shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third yeah, floor. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty perplexed by what the hell is going on. Because it's just like, it's just a bit mind boggling. Mm. And not to I mean, the only one I can think of is, is Hiro. Like, and Hiro 
I, I don't know that Hero has a specific motivation to do it, but I don't think Kyoko is the guilty one. It's also like the, the sheer strength as well. I mean, I know I'm kind of being a bit of an asshole, but Hifumi, Hifumi wasn't like a small Hifumi, cherub. Hifumi cut. You know it's rude to talk mean things about the dead, right? I don't think Hifumi was dead. There should have been two body announcements. If they found T Taka oh. and the Fumi, there should have been two announcements. Oh. They wouldn't just do one, surely. No, you're right. I don't think a Fumi's actually dead. So, wait, Could have so just hang been on. So Nobody's actually wait, checked wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so hang on. Yeah, and the three people finding the three people finding Taka was obviously um, Sakura and, and Toko. Toko. And Toko was unconscious, so they found him. That triggered the body alert upstairs. And then we obviously thought it was... Yeah, 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 okay. It for, was for Ifumi. Yes. But Ifumi's can't have been dead. No one's bothered to check. There should have been... I would have thought Monokuma would have said two bodies. Yeah. Or they should have come within a couple of minutes of each other. Yeah, because yeah. he, he, yeah, he announced... He, he, I would think he would announce it again. So that's that's very good, Sarah. That may be But then it. it's like, what the hell... Where the heck has Ifumi gone, I guess? I don't know. Unless he's gone to look for... We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... What? 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 Now Taka's also yes. gone. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Toko. So yeah, that kind of like, that puts this... I mean, it doesn't totally throw your theory out the window because Ta um, Taka is obviously... Taka's easier to move. Taka's, yeah, a smaller guy. He would be easier to move, as you say. Yes, for sure. Toka. But Somebody's dead. <laughs> thank God you're okay. But right away I noticed there was something. Really? Do you really have to spell Very it out? Different here. And there's trial marks on that one. <gasps> it was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right here, there, had disappeared. Yes, yeah, sir. You're right. Hifumis didn't have trail no. marks, which is curious. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all of this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before. And what I'm seeing now isn't <laughs> what I <laughs> really? saw before. Really? You think? At this precise you moment, think? he's he's monologuing. <laughs> like, is now really the time? He got hit so hard it knocked him out of Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you, are you saying? Taka disappeared too? Stop saying disappeared. He didn't it didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, a costume a costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. So, I mean, would you say would you say that they've Played us like a dick! <laughs> <laughs> it does seem that way. It definitely does. <laughs> we gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us! Okay, I vote no more splitting yeah. up. No more, none of that. <laughs> no, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Uh, um... When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. After that, we split up into two groups. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. <laughs> you seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are... in love? Th that's not it at all! Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for could be none other than... Hero. Which further means there will be... <clears throat> that yeah. there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Yeah, you can only kill up to two. Yes. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. For a people. minute there, I wasn't sure if that was you, Taylor, saying that, or Makoto. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like you go, oh yeah, the rule. And then, but then, yeah. 
As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... Oh! <laughs> I'd mince you! Mince you without a second thought! Mince you, grind you, turn you into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish? Like shrimp or crabs? Thank you for that insight, Monokuma. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Unless either A, one of them wasn't actually dead, or B, they were each killed by different people. Yeah. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. <laughs> I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed in their body. <laughs> he just fucking said that. <laughs> For God's sake. And their bodies have been hidden. It's just like, just God's why? God's sake. Why does he have to? Hidden have been the bodies which were murdered. <laughs> Is it? The, the people have been murdered. Murdered have the people been. <laughs> When you when you have to f write a six thousand word essay and you're at five thousand words, <laughs> <laughs> and yes. you've got one hour till it's well, you've got like ten minutes till you've got to hand it in. Yeah. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hero, as he's the only one who could have done it, as he doesn't have an alibi <laughs> for the bodies which were murdered and then hidden. <laughs> but is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? Where did she kyo go? <laughs> hey, Mak da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hey, Makoto. What's the matter? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Excuse me. Whatever. We need to find those bodies or our little narrative here can't move forward. <laughs> Does he know he's in this <laughs> Meta? Very well. Let us split up and begin searching. But... There is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. I, I know that, but... I mean... I think I do, but... If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Okay. Thank you. No need to thank me. Then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Byakia left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where to go? Where to go, indeed. I would check the bathhouse. You think? I, think. I mean, that doesn't have any cameras in it. And if Fufumi was going to limp away, that would probably be where he would go. Mm. I actually have... Uh, I, I, there is one place that I think might be quite obvious. Oh. There, um, in the rec room, there was that big locker. Big locker. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes, there is, isn't there? Mm. Mm. And well, let's go check the locker. So we then. could do that. Um, what floor was that on? That's the third. Isn't it, is, it? Third it floor. Is the third, which we're on right now. Yeah, of course it is. I'm, I'm being stupid. Wait, what? Turned quicker. There we go. <laughs> Over here. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the. I remember the door. I just just forgot what floor it was on. Oop. It's a no locker. Oh shit, Sherlock. It doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. Right. Okay. Makoto, you are looking for things that have been hidden. Would it therefore not make some <laughs> sense to open things that could ostensibly um, No? Okay, no. Bath no, you're house. just gonna this is what this is why, Makoto, you have the little ahugi on your head, the little stupid <laughs> ah you're stupid. Uh oh we can't We can't walk. Okay. Okay. Right, mm. so first what is that? Oh that's the stairs. The stairs. That's what that's where we, Those would that's be where the we stairs. need to go. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? I'd better look around this. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I, guess. I guess we need to. Right. I'll check the, we'll check the classroom. We need then. to get the flag. So, 
the event flag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classroom one. <laughs> nope. I'm presuming it's not going to be something like. Whoa! Oh! Ooh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto! What? Ooh. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean. I found them. Oh. Kifumi and Taka's bodies had both been hidden in the repository. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository? It's the repository. Am I being dumb? I don't... It does seem a little convenient that Celeste both manages to be the one that keeps encountering the yeah. guy in the mech suit. And also seems to be the one that's finding the evidence. And she just always miraculously manages to be in the right place at the right yeah. time. What's the repository? Am I being stupid? I don't remember what that is. Have we been to... Re is that the art room? Oh, maybe. Is it? Well, look at the map. Yes, helpful. <laughs> I think it's the, it must be the, the storage room at the back of the art room, then. Yeah, maybe. Huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Are the bodies here somewhere? Right. Well, obviously in the room. I was just looking at the statues. Oh, okay. Up ahead is... Okay, yeah. The doorknob is on a cord. Holy shit! I, I guess it it's locked unlocked. Before, it? Well, of course it, it would locked. be unlocked, Makoto, because Celeste. Oh, no, because no, that's where that's because that's where the picture was. That's where no, the, we found the photograph. It, yeah. I have no choice but to go inside. I so I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw nothing. The bodies are gone again. No, oh, Byaku, you there? Oh. There they are. So it'll be interesting if we get the chime. Yeah. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. Oh, that's the hammers. Ah. Uh, oh, well spotted. Someone's decorated them, then. Yes. Yes. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then oh. I heard the announcement for a second Well time. done, Sarah. There it is. So Hifumi wasn't dead at the time. Mm. But that's weird. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you'd like, the class trial will begin! Mm. Oh, shit. Back. And so here we are! Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma... Oh, right, sorry. Let me give you all the next Monokuma file. I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Just hand it over already. Now, make sure to investigate with all of your mental might and prepare for the class trial. Okay, see you later. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. Hold on! How can you be so... so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know! Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! Awful! This is just... all too awful! Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Oh. <laughs> oh. Who... Who would do this? Say, damn it, why am I dead? Why am I dead? Why can't I enjoy this? But remember, this? she's 3D. <laughs> True. Kinda. Why? Why? Large, wet tears from <laughs> and, and now I'm just thinking of, like, the Studio Ghibli tears. Like, the big, huge, wet, yeah, like, yeah, blobs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, the tears landed on Hifumi's That's cheeks. Strange. And then they revived. <laughs> oh. It's a Pokemon. If this were some world of make believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. Taka gets no love, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit confused at Aoi's apparent sudden attachment to Hifumi, yeah. but whatever. Taka did get really weird, though. Yeah. Like, he just went properly weird. 
when Hifumi opened his eyes, but this wasn't a movie. It wasn't Pokemon, the movie one, Mewtwo Strikes Back. What is this? Uh, no! Uh, what? What? He's not dead. What? This wasn't... <laughs> He's alive again? Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Here, here, Fumi! Wake up! Huh? Ah, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on! You gotta wake up! I remember everything. Before I met you all. I met you all. His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Ah, the light. It's reaching out to me. Like the tail of a comet. Hey, Afumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? I'm talking right now. Do I seem like I am dead? <laughs> That's right. I remember their name. Justice and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever it is, justice. Oh. Y Yasu. Hero. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Bleh. What? Oh, shit. Oh. His eyes closed. And they never opened again. Bar, 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 Death bar. for the second time. A body has been discovered! <laughs> Three. Absolute, undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. <laughs> this isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins? No calcium in your bones? At least you have your meat. Oh, now. <laughs> You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said... Yasuhiro, right? Yasuhiro Agagawa. Is that it? No, Hagakure. Agakure. 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 Sorry. Now, it's interesting that he didn't say Hagakure. He uh, said Yasuhiro. Uh, <laughs> that is the only person he could have been referring to. Yeah, I mean, maybe. And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi. And then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although, this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Yes, it does look that way. Hmm. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. Hmm. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this. To make sure everyone survives. Except for the people that are dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? Except the ones who are dead. <laughs> for, or, yeah. For the good <laughs> of all of except us. The except the ones, the ones who are dead. <laughs> I just have to do it. Investigate. Da -da 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 -da. First, I'd better check the Monokuma yes. file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. 
The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. Mm. That's it? Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. That is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyway. Maybe. Hmm. There's something else that's bothering me. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Don't be rude. I'm here to answer your question. What question? You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you, so you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Well, unless they work together to each murder one person. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, that's a strange little... Uh, yeah. That's a little loophole there, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what would happen in that case. Would they have two trials, I guess? Which would kind of be a bit... I mean, I, I, it's kind of treated as, like, one murder, though. Oh, no, but... So it kind of seems like there's only one, oh, no, I mean, but surely that would be the way to but, go about it if you were going to try to do it, like, work together, each knock off one person. Yeah. I feel know. like, in that case, they would hold two different trials, though, maybe. I don't know, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's a bit of a loophole. I'm not sure how they'd do that. Yeah, so, basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So, are you saying nobody worked together this time, either? <laughs> Sorry! Can't answer that! It would obstruct the free ex exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, only one black hand can graduate! An accomplice gets nothing! Then we only... You get nothing! You lose! Good day, <laughs> sir! <laughs> <laughs> then we only need to figure out the one who <clears throat> then we only need to figure out who that one blackened is that did the kill what then we only need to figure out who that one blackened is that did the kill oh, that's really weird then we only need to figure out how that <laughs> you're right there <laughs> then we only need to figure out who that one blackened is that did the killing right just like normal Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shipping. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... The one true Blacken who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true Blacken? So just one person? That's enough for explainifying. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the Blacken. Good luck to all the contestants! Final battle? Is this the last chapter? Mm, I don't know. I, I, who knows? I don't think so. So there can only be one blackened. An accomplice wouldn't benefit. And I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. It can't be the last one, because surely, like, there's, there's too many people left alive. Yeah. <laughs> you may be right. If that's true, then... Kyoko, where are you? As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. You know, 
Don't you think we should just should consider a certain someone as a suspect, just in case? I ain't talking about the murderous being Genocide Jack. What? I'm offended! <laughs> you! When did you... I've been lucky all over for you, master! When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found! I tried to make sure of it. <laughs> Curses. Anyway! You there, milk sack squirrel girl! Oh, jeez. Milk sack? Why do I gotta be a suspect? Do you think that's why Owie thinks she's fat? Well, it's probably something to do with the the, the scissors you're yeah. playing. Do you think this is why why Actually. Owie's been suspecting that she's been gaining weight? Because, like, Genocide Jill's been going on and on and on oh, about maybe. her maybe. <laughs> that, like, she's starting to think, geez, am I putting on weight? Am I? Yeah. She's starting to get all this negative. Yeah. However, why does she gotta be a oh. suspect? <laughs> 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 Son of a bitch! <laughs> Except that I did just answer well, the question. Well, she is a serial killer, but the other undeniable fact is that we have run out oh, of what? time for this episode. No way. So, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed what we do, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell to get notifications about when we post new content. Follow us on Twitter, which will be linked in the description if you want to chat with us yeah. or ask us any questions, and feel free to post a comment doing the same. Uh, but until next time... Thank you for watching and uh, take care, everyone. See ya. Bye, guys.